this week on your mom's house. I'm polite, but I don't like, I don't like intimacy I don't or familiarity. Do you feel like you should be able to give the gift of dental work <laughs> for like Christmas gifts? Yeah. I wouldn't let him touch my Amazon box when it came to the <laughs> man. Is that what you call your asshole? Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode is brought to you by Sattva. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Alfita Shane, welcome <laughs> <laughs> to another episode of your Mom's House podcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks for downloading. Thanks for viewing us on the YouTubes. Um, that's a nice jacket you got there, Jean. Thanks. I'm going for a new look. What's the look? Um, just like corporate lady, like yeah. HR vibes. But HR, accounting vibes. I like vibes. to have fun too, yeah. you know? Right, that's what the necklace is all yeah, about. Yeah, it tells people I shop on Etsy. I yeah. like to shop on Etsy. I put on a collared shirt for today's you episode. Did. You know why? It's finally August. <laughs> and uh, Is August your favorite uh, it's month? It's a wonderful month, yeah. Yeah, it's as I hot like as can be. Getting ready for school. Going back to school was always an <sighs> exciting time for me to get ready to go back to school. That month is so full of dread when you're a kid, like when you see August and, and you hit August and you're like, fuck. It's and then the, the countdown starts, you're like, God damn it. I gotta pretend to want to learn again. Like it's just the worst. And like schools can't just be like, here's the first day. They have to do like, well, the day before is Popsicle I Friday. Know. And then the lead up is pajama. It's like, no, just, and just it was fucking go for it, man. Kind of a faded memory. Oof. And then having kids now, and talking to them, I'm like, hey, how you feel about school? And they're like, I hate school. <laughs> and then, you know, Julian's like, it's the worst. I hate it. Just yeah. sitting there, they talk. Yeah. I hate it. I'm like, hate yeah. It. I'm like, yeah, that's how you're supposed to feel about school. Yeah. And I go, I no, it's that. great. And they're like, why? I don't do anything. They tell you stupid numbers. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> That's I know, the right like feeling. you have to learn stuff. Why? So yeah. that you can be smart. Why? Yeah, it's always why. So you're not a fucking it's always why. loser. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Can I, you know what's funny too is they're always like, oh, you grew so much over the summer, but it's really just two months. It's not that long. So like, but it's not the summer that made you grow. You know what I'm saying? Well, what <laughs> like, made you grow? It's just time, like two months. That's what the that's what time is It's though. just two, two months, months of your life and you change so much. Wait, what? I'm just thinking that if, like I don't go without seeing our kids for two months generally. Yeah. It is drastic when you don't see a little kid. They you just, generally go that long? Generally speaking. Every two months you see them? No, I don't go oh, you that You don't long. go. I got you. Yeah. So you're saying that when two months go by. It's startling when you sure. see these little fuckers back. You're like, oh my God. Did you ever mm. change a lot over two months? I always I always did. My mother would be like, you grow so much in the summertime. Mm. And that's why she would send me to like Tarzana Park day camp and stuff. Like all these shitty day camps. You're going to learn, you're going to grow. I gained a lot of weight over one summer, I think. What did you do? You just stayed home? And no, I went to Peru and I was supposed to stay back and just train with the team. And I was like, I'm going to Peru. And my coach was like, you're going to Peru? And I was like, yeah, my mom's from there. And he was like, oh. Um. <laughs> yeah, so weird, right? And then um, he gave me this jug, this huge jar. And it just written in marker, it said protein and carbs. Mm. And I would, because he was like, you need to gain weight. And then I would make these shakes and I wasn't training enough to be eating those shakes. I was making like two a day. And then I showed up in August for a sophomore year. And he was like, whoa. <laughs> and he's like, I guess you ate those shakes. I'm like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't train but enough. You didn't train. I mean, I, I did, I gained, you know, weight across the board, but I, I got, I came back 210. I think I left at like 185. Damn. So I put on like 25 pounds. That you ate a lot of Peruvian food too, I'm assuming when you're. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Peruvian food is not really gonna. No. It's clean, you know. It's like fish and yeah. And then it's like normal portions. But I was just like pounding down those shakes and yeah. We weren't like hitting the gym, you know. We would just would find one and use it for a day or two. I mean, I got my titties one summer. That's for that's sure. That's a lot of weight. That's probably forty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I went from yeah. a no cup. To a C cup. Like oh, yeah. I got I'm having just paid. totes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bro, like there was a summer that it's the same summer I started to smoke cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And then I came back to school and I remember I was playing softball in PE mm -hmm. and this fucking I wanna say his name, James. 
I was running to second base and he goes, damn, Christina sprouted over the summer. No. <laughs> he said I it got, like that? Like, damn. Yeah, it was LA. Yeah, of course. A fucking, oh, Christina got some titties, Yeah, huh? dude. Some fucking Cholo kid was like, yeah. what a lay. Look at her what titties, homie. Shit. Titties, I want to suck on them. <laughs> Yeah, because there's Suck a your big old tits, eh? Oh, for sure. Like there's a there's a moment in a girl's life where you're walking down the street and nobody pays you any mind, mm-hmm. no any attention, and, and then, then one summer you come back and every fucking vato on the corner is like, like titties, titties. Yeah, you literally get sexually harassed like overnight. Well, it's what really trip. jumps out to you when you're young is that there's always a girl in every class who got tits before the other girls for sure. And so it's just for sure. it's just alarming. You're just like. And big tits, yeah. too. Yeah, and huge. everyone else is, like, developing. And yes. Then, and then she's like, yeah, I have a fucking 28-year-old woman's tits. I have yeah. full-size D cups, and I'm 14. Yes. And that shit throws everybody off. Her, I'm sure, and her whole life, and her friend. And then every boy is like, what is happening right now? Yeah. Like, my dick keeps twitching when I talk. Uh. You know? But that I know the girl you're talking about in in seventh grade. Big milkers, yeah. Her first name was Shelby. I'm not gonna say more. But I have vivid memories of mm. Shelby's tits and yeah. being like, "Bro, she like you said, like yeah. fucking melones, right? Yeah. Like cantaloupes, and just being." And everyone thought she was a slut. Like that's the yeah, other thing. That's is the you thing they associated with. Like you're a whore. She wasn't even doing grew. anything. Of course not. She wasn't the whore. There was other chicks that were whores, but yeah. it wasn't that girl. The girls that are whores are the ones that like wish they had those tits and they're Seriously. so mad that she's getting all the titty attention and then they're like, I'll suck your dick, you know? Because <laughs> I'd like some of that attention too. Okay. It is very satanic. It's true. Um, when did people, because I remember in seventh grade people getting fingered in the movie theater after mm, school. Yeah. When did you start hearing of people getting fingered? Sixth, seventh grade. Yeah. 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 Seventh, especially that it really fingering popped was off. huge. That's when seventh. your friends would be like, "Here," and they, Ew, you know, is that true? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Where did the, when? Wait, you were just there after they had no, a sesh? You, no, they would just be like, "Oh, I fingered her," and then they'd put their finger by your nose, and you're like, "Hey, it wouldn't be like in the fresh. moment." No, oh, no, 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 no. I thought she, they like did it during lunchtime. No, and then, and then they would always you'd be like, "Does it really smell like fish?" And they're like, "Kind of." Ew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So nasty. The way it was painted to us too, like they're, they're like, oh man, a girl's box is like the stinkiest, most rotten. <laughs> and you're like, really? And they're like, oh yeah, man, it's fucking reeks. It's yeah. like a market, like a fish market. Yeah. Like picture these guys just came in from doing like the crab dives and shit. <laughs> That's what's going on down there. And you're like, ugh. Yeah. And then you hear like, like easy E and like, I never eat that shit. That shit. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm never going to eat that either. Yeah, you know, I don't know what that was all about. And then you wonder why women have uh, hangups about about their vag, about their smells. Well, but but think about if you're the boy and you're just hearing this from like yeah. you know, other guys in pop culture, you're like, oh wow, it's the worst thing in the Plus world. Plus, it's gonna smell yeah, terrible. It's gonna be the worst. And then when you first had it, where you're like, oh, this isn't as bad as I was like a lap dog. I'm, yeah, you like? Yeah, I was it. just lapping it up. Yeah. I will say, <laughs> now yeah. as an adult woman, you're like, well, yeah. I mean, think about it. The pussy, as you say, mm-hmm. is a portal. It's literally a canal, a flesh canal. Yeah. That's like damp and bacteria collects. And then it's a portal into your fucking internal yeah. body, into an or internal organ. It's like, like a uterus. Can, it's a direct. It's gnarly. Opening into the human body. Yo, that's what I'm so, so everything comes I think out. One of the things that happens. It's crazy. Is yeah. that a, the, the reason that even a stinky thing comes up. Is because a woman who, let's say, it doesn't live any type of healthy lifestyle, is going to have probably a horrific smelling bag. We get to clean the external bits, and then the inside is rotten. But I'm saying, if she then, if she is eating bad food and not taking care of herself, and sure, did, like it probably is rotten and and horrible. And then the guy that's what starts telling those, so that that's how that whole thing spreads, yep. right? Like somebody who doesn't, yep. just like a dude who is totally unhealthy and lives like shit, probably doesn't have the best tasting jizz, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, I've been with a few, yeah. like, loser potheads. Yeah. And they just eat fast food, and their jizz tastes terrible. Mm-hmm. But also, apropos mm. your point here, of a, <clears throat> yeah, like, do you know that after you give birth, the doctor tells you not to go swimming for eight weeks, and there's a reason. It's because your cervix still hasn't completely closed up. And if you get water, let's just say chlorine water, up in your vag, through your cervix, into your uterus. Like, that could be devastating. Game over? Game over, bro. Yeah. Game over, homie. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
I oh, mean, did you hear that burp in is my that you or yeah, me? That was my throat. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's interesting to hear why you think a woman's post post stinks because I, I also think it's hormonal. Yeah. The skin on the outside of it's not properly clean. And also think about everything inside of our uterus has to come out of our vag. Ooh. If you saw a period, you would not be that thrilled about pussies. Oh, you think I haven't seen periods? Not like I've seen periods. Well, not like you don't know what I know. I'm sure I don't know what you know, but I've lapped up a, a period post. Stop it. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm going to fucking puke. Can you just play a clip? Stop it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I had to make some money right quick. Mm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But don't think I ain't peeking now. Got my eyes on that chocolate drop right there. Boom. There it is. Yes, sir. But I know one thing. I know them things right there on the top of your chest that melt my mouth and not my hand. I know that. God. Oh. That ain't motherfucking a whole milk dud right there. I'm telling you, boy. That's pure chocolate right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's Randy. Don't bring anyone mother to this. Ooh. Your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. With Tom Segura. <laughs> and Christina Push it. Welcome to your mom's house. Meow, meow. I wish that was my uncle. Bitch ass and a dog. Chill out, Christine. Yo, <laughs> nothing <laughs> triggers me more. I legitimately get scared when y'all say that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> It's a uh, scary, it's a scary what? ass sentence, man. We're Bitch just, ass in the dive? Yeah. Oh Easy. my God. <laughs> Why is that a scary sentence? We're just saying. Why is that a scary sentence? <laughs> what we? What do you mean? Why is that scary? Listen, man, the last time motherfuckers look like you said that to me, it's a scary day. It's a scary day. The Just the first few syllables of what you're saying is a scary ass shit. Really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you scared too, Nadav? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, well, I mean, not for different reasons than any. It's, you know, I feel like someone's going to isolate this, and all of a sudden, paychecks are going to stop coming in. You know, it's oh, just a, it's all these other different quick. How about when I just say Nadav? Does that also scare you? A little bit sometimes, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Because it's a coin flip. Is this good news? Is this bad news? Am I going to get, you know, hey, fucking go, I don't know, fucking run a marathon? I don't know. <laughs> How's your training? Yeah. Great. Feel good? Yeah. Yeah. Got, got some blood work done. They get, they're sending me straight. They're leveling me out. And yeah. Just starting to take baby steps. Into, baby steps. Yeah. So that's why, you know, it's, it's still kind of look a little bit the same. Yeah. This week, you know. It's all about easing in to the yeah. hard work. You don't want to just start at a 10. No. No. A couple of casual walks. And then all of a sudden, a few months later, 26.2 miles. <laughs> Easy work. Easy work. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> and they're not going to be calling you a bitch ass Nadav anymore. <laughs> a bitch ass Nadav. Fuck, man. <laughs> Fuck. This is five sixths too close to something I don't like. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really excited about it. Um, isn't that cool that your uncle's like, mm hmm, mm, those milk duds on your chest <sighs> melt in my mouth? Huh? Well, it's, there's nothing grosser. I know them things right there on the top of your chest that melt my mouth. <laughs> than like a paternal yeah, figure, figure being yeah, yeah. sexual. It's mm -hmm. so gross. It is, it's like my dad would say shit like this to Yeah, me. there's more. No, thanks. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy, that motherfucker made me go <laughs> suck the chocolate out that bad, boy. That ain't nothing but pure chocolate milk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Don't you get company. Don't you get company. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> It's <laughs> <That's> amazing. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I 
thank you. That's pretty cool. It's getting that chocolate milk in his mouth. And you're like, that's my uncle. Stop, stop. Yeah. I used to hate it when my dad would even flirt with waitresses. So he was probably a regular flirt, right? So embarrassing. What would he do? Just like, oh. so embarrassing. Just like he he was very cool. He'd be like, "Oh, where where are you from? Thailand. I want to go there. I've been to Thailand." Oh, like there. a like a smooth way, like yeah. a subtle, not aggressive. Never. He wouldn't be like, "You're really beautiful." Like that's yeah. too on the nose. Yeah. You're like, oh, you know, he gets to pretend like you know know about their lives God, and stuff. Yeah. Nothing, nothing upsets me more than like getting to know the server. I know. <laughs> It's like, cause now you're beholden oh my God. to the whole conversation. I, like it absolutely. personalizes yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. And I'm like, know. I don't want that type of relationship no. with you. You know, like when they come up and they're like, how's your day going? I'm like, oh, okay. So <laughs> <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys have plans today? Sometimes they ask you about your, do you have any plans? Well, I don't and like I'm that. like, are you coming along? I don't like, I don't like, I like to, well, you're polite. I wouldn't, you're polite. We're no, polite. I'm polite, but I don't like, I don't like intimacy I don't or either. familiarity, you know, like it's too much, way too much. Cause, cause I've done it. I've made the mistake. Like I'll have a, uh, a couple of glasses in me Yeah, and then I'll start chatting with the server. And then I do find out something about them. We have in common. Now, every time they come over, I feel the pressure to have a meaningful exchange. Cause we've set that precedence of like, yeah, we have a rapport now. Are you seeing what's on the board right now? What's on? Look what's highlighted. That's about his dad. What are you talking about? That my dad would always flirt with waitresses. But the part that's highlighted? I don't want it. It's so disturbing. If they, if they had their navel exposed oh and they had God. a piercing there, he would, because he's a jeweler, that was his angle. Oh. He'd like, you'd just be like, what's these? And like, he would just graze. And he was married. He was married. <laughs> he Actually, was no, a, no, no. This was post-divorce. He wouldn't do that in front of He would of touch. Him. He would touch. He was like, what is this? Is this real? And like... Almost, they would almost never like push back from it. Really? Which is, I mean, my dad did have game. He did run through an entire was he hot? The class once. Yeah, you did tell was me. Was he that. hot? Was he a good looking guy? I mean, he looked like me. Handsome, handsome fella. Oh, was he a redhead? Uh, he used to be, yeah. He like turned gray around 40, 50. Long Aww. hair or short hair? So uh, li handsome. Literally, I'm a carbon copy of him. Like, he, he, he looked like me. Really? Mm hmm. Just think, you could be doing the same stuff. <laughs> yeah, just touching belly button rings as I see him. Like, where is this from? Did you? Uh, but Didn't you also... say in yoga he fell asleep? He would fall asleep in class? <laughs> no, 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 no. That was when we both got a massage and they started uppercutting me in the asshole and I tried to see how he was reacting and he was fast asleep. I thought you told me in, in hot yoga he would take a nap, like literally nap. Actually, yeah, he fucking yeah. got a nap in there too. Yeah. Yeah, he would take as many naps as he could. It was sometimes, You know what he would do? He would always do this thing where uh, if he was driving me, he would close the eye that was facing me uh -uh. and then just kind of like start like going back like this. And I'd be like, wake up. He's like, <laughs> I got, got you. you. I got yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Terrifying dad. Fun times. I remember my dad, we used to go to Riverside to hang out with my uncle Yeah. and relatives there. Right. And dude, they would get ripped all day. Like Hungarians just drinking all day. Fucking ripped and then we get in the car and just drive back to los angeles and i remember when i by the time i was 15 i was like this isn't good yeah and i was like dad i don't think you should drink and drive and like he and my stepmom got so mad at me for even saying anything like what are you talking about your father is not drunk he is not a drunk he's not even and you're like um okay you drank all day though all fucking day yeah you but had, that's you how had 20 drinks rolled. today yeah yeah in the he's 90s like, yeah so what so what you fucking pussy yeah yeah Fucking, so crazy, dude. A bitch about it. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Let's take a quick break Not and we'll cool be guys. right back. And we're back with a good friend of the show and of our lives. You can Aww. see her special on YouTube called 44 right now. Please welcome Sarah <gasps> Tiana, everybody. Yeah. Wow. wow, I can't believe it. It's been a long time. I miss you, a long man. time. I miss y'all. It's good to see you. It's great to see you. Every time I see you, you're in a bigger, fancier place. <laughs> That's true. It is a bigger, fancier place. Every single place. time I've ever recorded your show, That's right. it went from an apartment in Burbank at That's Red right. Band's apartment That's right. doing yes. dental updates. <laughs> Wow. Good dental memory. updates wow. to your place in Redondo. That's right. Yep. 
to Reseda. Reseda. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And now here. And now here. Now we left the states. Um, speaking <laughs> yes. of dental updates, your teeth look fantastic. Yes. Thank you. Have you had any cavities or anything? I have not had any cavities. I had to get a tooth pulled oh, during COVID. That was fun. Really? Oh, An no. emergency. Like, emergency pull? Yes. Which one? Like where? Bear in the bear in the the, the back one. Was it? Are you in, you were in pain? Like oh I was God. in a lot of pain, and the guy was like. We're not going to be able to save it. And, um, you know, he just like yanked it out and he's like, it's a boy. And I go, not the time, not the time. (laughs) I don't need your dental jokes. Speaking of dental updates, I'm leaving here at an exact, well, just about less than an hour because. Oh, oh, I. (laughs) What is that? That's that's special music. I'm I'm going to the orthodontist. I'd never had braces. I'd never had retainer, anything like that my whole life. And then about nine months ago, I got a regular checkup at the dentist. And they're like, has your bite always been like this? And I was like, what? And they go, your bite. And I was like, what are you talking about? And then they go, well, it's kind of like, I go, I have like a slight overbite, you know? Mm-hmm. And they were like, no, you may have. And they go, do you sleep with like a mouth guard or something? And I go, yeah, like to help with snoring. And what it does is it, it makes your lower jaw go forward. But I've slept with it for like over a decade. And they're like, yeah, it moved your jaw. So I have what? Invisalign right yeah. now, like at 44, because they're like, you, fu- you did orthodontics to yourself. Get out. At the, yeah. And they're like, you moved your jaw. So now I'm trying to move my jaw back. Isn't that crazy? You have to get headgear? Well, oh. I have mouth gear. Ah. Oh, so, you do? I thought ah. you had something in your mouth, yeah. but I didn't want to say anything. No, no, no. I don't want to be rude. No, no. And people have noticed. They're like, what's up with the way you talk? <laughs> I'm like, well, I have this shit in my mouth, man. Like. Yeah, I've had people be like, "Are you are you chewing on something?" And I'm like, "I have braces in my mouth, dude." You know, I have to say that it it has made you appear more youthful. The braces? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I've really enjoyed watching you take them out to eat, like you know, oh, like because yeah. I've had retainers, I've had braces, and it's just bringing me back to yeah. watch him do that. I know when you I, watch porn and the girl has braces, it's always like, "This is pretty cool." Right? <laughs> no. Stop. Oh, sorry. I thought we were talking about the same thing. But now that everyone's probably so <laughs> shaved, it's probably not as messy. <laughs> right? I can just remember. It is. Yeah. I don't want to bring it up. But I still have a permanent retainer on the bottom. You my still? Bottom. Yes. What like, do you mean? From when I was, I got my braces off when I was 16. Yeah. So it's been almost 30 years. And you have permanent? I have a permanent retainer on the bottom. Why, Why? Why is that? I don't know. They just and yeah. they never. They always say like we can't. We don't want to take it out because then your ma- your teeth will move and then oh. you have to get braces. Because I was what? really hoping you'd be like I don't know, and then you go, <laughs> and then they're like, oh yeah, you could have taken this out like twenty five <laughs> years ago. That would be the best. <laughs> if they're like, why do you have this in? Oh, I just never brought it up. But here's what's <laughs> fucked up about my situation. Yes, is that so? I get these 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 snore guards. Okay, it's just it's it's custom made, right? So they take a mold of your mouth and they're like, you put this in, and over like. You know, every few years we'd be like, I want a new one. You know, it's f- keep it fresh. Like, a, mm-hmm. and they would just be like, Yeah, you go. I go get a checkup, cleaning, make you a new one, and you go and you go. And you're just doing this for years, and then this dentist is like, Yeah, you shouldn't have done that for that long. And I'm like, Yeah, well, how come no other dentist <sighs> fucking yeah. said that? And they're I, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, okay. I just Nobody have a, told I us. I moved my own jaw, and they're like, Mm-hmm. I'm like, Did well, you get a second opinion from that dentist to make sure that you did move your own jaw? Um, yes, I okay. did. I did. Oh, whoops. I yes. was like, did you? Should. <laughs> yeah. Well, well I'm glad he doesn't have to get neck gear. That, that is, so, I had neck gear. It's no. so embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. But, but this fucking uh, doctor said to me, though, is they're like, we'll see. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Somebody has neck gear. Head gear. That is fucking Nadav goes, uh, he, he goes, uh, he's like, okay, we'll see how these work. Like the, the sure. and then he's like, and then, you know, when we're done with like that period of time, you know, we might do some like shaving down some teeth, mm. moving some stuff around. And I was like, I just was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, and then he <laughs> leaves and I tell the dental assistant, I was like, you know, I'm not going to do that shit, right? I was like, whatever happens, happens. And then yeah. I'm done. Yeah. And they're like, oh no, he's really good. I go, I don't give a fuck. I'm not shaving teeth down. I'm no, like, I don't have crazy. some tooth, like my face isn't like, oh, well, I have to move it. I'm just, I'm just doing a slight cosmetic Fix on this. I don't know. Well, after that, you're going to get all veneers, right? Yeah. Like a full. <laughs> and they're going to be like super white, like that super like white, that white that. on the on the yep. screen. That yep. white. Yeah. You know? The Tom Cruise. Yeah. Teeth. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Post risky business, Tom Cruise. No. You ever see people? Then you go, you you 
you've ever been have you ever been to a dentist you know like <laughs> yes you, you go okay some people might get go get too much dental work done and then there's other people you go you could go once yeah. once i think it, there's a clinic that's have yes. you ever have you ever like given, given somebody the nudge i've done that before <laughs> to get their teeth fixed to dudes yeah well not even fixed just oh. I'm like there's so, like i'm just looking at their mouth and i'm like mm. i'm gonna go to the dentist this week and they're like, <laughs> oh yeah i'm that's like so yeah mean. you ever go <laughs> They're like, no, you really. do not like, do that. I've done it. I've done it. And I'll be like, I'll hook you up with my guy. And they're like, I don't have dental insurance. Don't worry. I'll cover it. I'm like, <laughs> I'll take care of it for you. Don't I worry. do feel like you should be able to give the gift of dental work <laughs> for like Christmas gifts. Yeah. Instead of bullshit. Like, can't, but that's so rude. Yeah, but right? it's from the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Love the tooth fairy. <laughs> I bought you some teeth. The tooth fairy got you a Christmas present? (laughs) Some teeth. Well, no, because I know somebody in my life, Jean, who I've I've known my whole life. Yeah. They they have a tooth missing in their front. And like, elect, they haven't changed it. They haven't done anything about it. It's been a a decade. And I want to be like, I will give you the gift of a tooth. (laughs) But I feel as though that's rude as shit. Yeah, is this the same person I'm thinking of? It's not your relative, but it's on my side of the force. Oh, okay. Because there's someone on my side of the force (laughs) who um, has a neglected toothy. And, oh, and then darker, mm-hmm. like a little darker, a little darker. Sure. And then anytime <laughs> the that black they, sheep of the family, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the bitch ass in the dab of their mouth. And, uh, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what? He's just a bitch ass in the dab. Oh, is the and then anxiety medicine what's needed crazy in that room? Is like <laughs> this person, right? You see mm-hmm. this, like you said, this darker tooth, and and then as, across the street, as life. <laughs> As life kind of progresses, sometimes there'll be something like, I don't know, a car purchase or a trip. And you're like, hey, man, why don't you? Priorities. Yeah. Get your face fixed. Yes. And then get the car on the next time, you know? Yeah. You don't want to be a butter tooth situation, you know, where you're like, nice car. Then you get out and they're like, ugly face. Yeah. Yeah. No, that tooth. Terrible. Yeah. You got to take care of that (laughs) tooth. The tooth is always a priority. Especially if it's one. It was not even like total reconstructive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I had got my I got my mouth widened. What? Yes. <laughs> Recently, when I met my husband, oh. he was like, "You got to get some work." And I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Why not make your life easier? You get groceries delivered to the house. Why not bring all of the stuff that you can do at the post office to your home? With so much of our world digitized or automated, why stick to old school mailing and shipping? Stamps.com. It's a post office in your office. Postage rates just increased again, but luckily Stamps.com has the best discounts in the industry. For 25 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Get access to the USPS and UPS services you need right from your computer anytime, day or night. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. We've used Stamps.com for years and I cannot advocate switching to stamps.com enough it really saves time and money and it's efficient and it's so much easier than going to the post office what a nightmare um here we go avoid the hassle and get started with stamps.com today sign up at stamps.com slash mom for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale no long-term commitments or contracts just go to stamps.com slash mom no, I, uh, when I was in, um, that was the whole problem is like my, my mouth was too narrow. So my teeth were all, you uh. know, go in different directions because they didn't oh. have enough room. So I had to get the thing on the top that, and you turn this key and it would just How widen. Painful? Was that painful? Incredibly painful. You're torturing yourself. There's a little key and you would turn it every day. How, this was as a kid? Yeah. So I think I got it when yeah. I was 13 or something. You definitely see some wild shaped mouths. Yes. Like people have very distinctly shaped different yes. people have actual small mouth or the yeah. or the the tooth like the teeth align and they go back in a narrow way yes as, a, as opposed to like the full frontal <gasps> yes. shape like, yes. i wonder what your teeth would look like like if we were in the medieval period oh yeah Everybody's i always think about that up. like what if i lived in london and i just yeah. didn't care yeah. <laughs> just kidding i don't yeah. think that yeah. sorry london no. i'm no. De- they know. They're, they're, they're aware, aware. <laughs> well i had my teeth had a big gap i had a huge uh-huh. yeah. gap buck teeth i had everything mm-hmm. wrong with me i knocked out half of this one i mm-hmm. mean it was a mess it took four 
four to six years to fix that fucking yep. mess. That's why I get them all nice and sparkly now. Me too. I take it's real scarring. When people know? tell me I have a nice smile, I'm like, you can thank my orthodontist <laughs> in yeah. Georgia. Can you believe we even had one? We did. <laughs> <laughs> we had two dentists and an orthodontist. They did a good job. They did a great job. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I give them all the credit. So yeah, It was the only yeah. thing I didn't like. I just was lucky. I didn't have anything. And my teeth were like pretty straight. Yeah. And oh, then good. you get to your 40s and they're like, hey, you know, you fucked your whole mouth up. And I'm <laughs> that's like, crazy, Tommy. What? Get, yeah, that's, that's crazy, Tommy. Yeah, yeah that is crazy. Nobody told us that that would happen. Oh, Very but strange. now, But now I just, I duct tape my mouth shut when I sleep at night. Oh. Because you don't want a to surprise. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, just stop snoring. Because now he was the oh. one that did it for oh. so many years. Sorry. And now we, I use duct tape. Yeah, I love a sleeping mouth. <laughs> I do. I love to mount well, a sleeping mouth. You know. <laughs> she's like. Just hope she's not dreaming of chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> Would that bother you if I did that? To me in the night? Yeah, a little bit. Spousal. Hmm? Seriously? No, I don't think I would. <laughs> Honestly, I I'd like that. I wish you would. That would be a nice wake up that surprise. Was, that was a total one eighty. Yeah, that was, I, I would say that's would. a three sixty. Yeah. That yeah, I wish you would. But you could do that. You're my husband. You're my son. I'm your mom. <laughs> so I don't even have to. No consent, right? I can just. Well, the consent is husband. that she's sleeping in the bed with you. That's right. Yeah. Why the fuck are you even here? Yeah. That's what I would say in court. Oh. <laughs> the fuck was she doing there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Tits were out. Get... What am I supposed to do? <laughs> do you have to sleep with anything? You, like you really duct do tape. duct tape? No, you do not duct tape your mouth shut. What's well, it she, called? She's okay. So there's sleep tape, right? Sleep tape. Okay. Sleep tape. Well, became, no, sounds... but here's the crazy thing. It looks like duct tape. I was informed about this first, so I got some sleep tape, and it's just to promote nasal breathing. It's supposed sure. to have a number of benefits. Some people do it even when they exercise. It's like this thing that's you know taken off, but it's really good for sleep. So I put it on my mouth. She sees me with it a few times. And then I go, you should try it. You know, it's, it has these, a number of benefits and it's especially supposed to help with snoring. And I see, I hear her like, sounds like a fucking donkey's like next to me. Right. So I tell her, I'm ripping. Um, I'm like, you're ripping. So she's like, yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. And then one time she goes, oh, I, uh, I tried that, you know, the duct tape thing and it just fucking hurts taking duct tape off. And I was like, <laughs> what are you using? And she goes, duct tape. And I'm like, <laughs> I go, you, but they make sleep tape. Like it's gentle. It's, it's for this. It rip my lips and off. And she's like, oh, I just, I just got some duct tape and tape my mouth. I was like, you're out of your mind. <laughs> Can't breathe as well with that. No. no. This yeah, stuff is was, meant, like if you go like for it, this, yeah. it just comes apart. You know, okay. it's like. Very exfoliated. It's, it's like a breathe gentle. right strip, but for your yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It actually sure. works. Because I, I, I do wake myself up snoring a lot. Mm. Um, and now since I broke my ankle, I sleep with so many pillows. We have like 80 pillows on our oh. bed between my legs and then under my head. And I, I'm fully fortified with pillows. And ever since pregnancy too. I do like a lot of pillows too. Mm, you do? Yeah, I do. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, I have two pillows. Chris sleeps with one, but I have two because I have one for my head and then one that I, a cooling pillow that I kind of grab yeah, onto. Because nice. I have to also be covered with lots of blankets. I'll sleep oh. with two behind the head and even one under this arm. Oh, sometimes like a king. Yeah. Like a king. Yeah, like yeah. it's a throne. Yeah. yeah. And I, I king's like behind it. you. I love <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh, these gentlemen are oh. incredible. Yeah. But then he also sleeps with a weighted mask that he ties around. So like, yeah. he a looks like mask? it's like it's like it's not oh, just a sleep mask, mask, but it's it's weight. It has like beads in it, sure. so you feel a little pressure. Yeah. He looks like a POW when he yeah, sleeps. I, right? do. I look over there. Now like, we're oh, getting to what I'm into. Yeah, right. <laughs> now what? Yeah. Yeah. She's always like, oh, tape the mouth shut, hands behind your back. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I can Glow see. stick around your neck in case right. you run. <laughs> I can find you in the house. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. And this is what excites you, right? I love it. It's yeah. my favorite thing. This and when a guy really asks me in detail what I like sexually. I want to hear about it. Let's talk about it. How do I like my box eating? How much pressure? It's too much. How do you feel, Sarah, about a guy that wants to really know details? Like, I want to know. Well, I'm not really a sharer, so I don't think he would get too much out of me. This most, is kind of what Rex was talking about. Women aren't, We're yeah. referring to a gentleman who was giving, could you pull him up? his advice on how to he's he says i'm he's really good at pleasing women oh. and he was he left a number of he gave a number of quotes to this very popular instagram page called humans of new york i don't know if you're familiar with it no. it just basically will show anybody who's like in new york and then kind of gives you a, a recap of what they're saying so 
oh, if you goodness. go to his original post actually so like oh. if you click on like you know like this one yeah well if you go one of the other ones i was going to make an example of um <sighs> what they normally are like so like okay. it's like this lady is like my grandmother had this big antique mirror that she let me keep in my room uh, I'd stand in front of it and I was pretending. So it's it's basically showing you that everybody has a story. Sure. Right? And it's usually things like that. And then on the next one, this guy just popped up one day. <laughs> and he's just like, basically, <laughs> I can... Uh, I can have an orgasm without ejaculating. And I've, I've given thousands of orgasms to women. Oh. I'm like this master. Orgasm giver. Yeah, orgasm giver. Mm -hmm. um, and he just, he talks all about this and about, he said, I was so good at it that I was ruining women's lives. Mm. And I came to the realization <laughs> that I would rather have you be my friend than have sex with you and have you hate me, right? Yeah. So that's the summer and you're like, holy shit. <laughs> Like, this was just unbelievable, <laughs> right? So we talked about him, and then we got him on the phone. And we talked oh, to no. Him. Yeah, we talked. We talked to him. He was really sweet. He I'm was sure actually, he was so excited He was to be. so nice. So sweet, though. And then the next time, it was this one, right? This came out, and he was like, I'm basically a big butch lesbian. Um, <laughs> and he talked uh -huh. about, oh, and in this summary, he also talks about how grotesque he finds it, that people are actually asking what someone's body count is. You know how many people you've slept with and he was like oh. he was like what a horrific thing to ask a woman you know maybe she was experimenting uh whether she was young or old like uh, what a what an awful thing to so then you're like oh wow what a feminist this guy mm -hmm. is and then they've profiled him again i don't know if they've ever profiled then it was this photo where he's in a sauna holding two women's feet <laughs> and he basically in this one says what christina was alluding to which is that um may i read it yeah please he likes to always ask the woman if you had a magic wand what would be your perfect man i let them tell me how they want to be treated and then i follow instructions i can't tell you how many women have told me wow you don't go down on me like a guy <laughs> most men just put their whole face in it way too much especially if there's stubble involved I'd personally recommend shaving your face right beforehand. Shave that shit down until it feels like a baby's ass. If you're not going to do that, at the very least, you've got to lead with the lips. Use the tongue gently. And don't go straight for the clitoris. Aim for one o'clock. You can't go wrong with one o'clock. But don't just park at one o'clock. Travel around. The entire area is sensitive. With men, it's all about the penis. But with women, it's all about everything except the butthole. This oh. one is so important. <laughs> What? The balloon knot is not for you to touch ever, not even once, <laughs> unless you're asked. It just goes on and on. But like, how do you feel as a woman hearing this detailed, you know, like giving this much information? Well, and also like what you're saying, because what, what she originally asked you is that they oh, make it exhausting. very clear what they want, right? A woman, so it's like some of them, intimacy scares them. They don't want to be face to face. They don't want to share, share these things with you. They may have had trauma. And, and that will, so in, in that case, listen and just hold them. Mm. Well, I don't, I think if I've gotten that far with, with this Rex. guy. Yes, with Rex, I'm not there for the conversation. Right. So I don't think I want you to. Ask too many questions. Hold me or ask me questions. Yeah. Just go right. for it. Right, just go yeah, for like, it. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if you don't, if you need me to give you an, an instruction manual, maybe you are not very good at uh -huh. your own I think place. he's alluding to the fact that he really pays attention. He just wants you to know that he's... he's he really wants... He does, and I do give him credit for that, but yeah, I just... It's too much Because you said you don't much. want... And you, and you said that you're not getting to know who the guy is then, right? Right, because if he's all about you and like servant servicing you, like then I don't know what his vibe is. Then this yes. whole thing is like... I'm just serving. I'm just your. It's like, ugh, like yeah. that's too beta energy for me. <laughs> yeah, so just well. fucking go for it and let's figure it out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Don't make me tell you every okay. little thing. Is, yes. is this okay? Sometimes. Can I, do I have consent to touch? Can I touch your breasts? Can you just I? need it's someone like, a little more direct. You yeah. Know? Like, yeah. 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 Like, also, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes my name is Demarco Fleming. Are you gay? <laughs> I'm bisexual. Are you top or bottom? I'm a top, dom top, aggressive top. Can Ooh. you describe what dumb yeah. top means? Dumb top means, which means I grab you by your back and neck, put your face down, ass up, and fuck the shit out of you, and have you walk crazy for days. It's my guy. Walk crazy for days. Crazy for days, <laughs> which means you be real sore, and you be calling me on the phone. Daddy DeMarco, I need help. I need, I'm, I'm sore. Give me some Tylenol. That's what that means. Mm. 
Tylenol. Different style, though, right? Completely different style. Yeah. But sometimes you need that. Yeah. And sometimes you need the sauna guy. The sauna yeah. guy. Why is he in a sauna with uh, I don't women? Know. He's I, a butch lesbian. Yeah. That's what he does. But I would just... I like separate saunas. So it's really, the, just, it's really depending on the, your mood whether you want uh, Sexy Rexy or Daddy DeMarco, <laughs> is what you're saying, right? Definitely. Well, you need to find yourself... A partner that can be both. Yeah, that's right. That is there what you, you need. Go. You need somebody that will maybe listen one day and the other day is like, He's I don't want like, your advice. I just up. want, yeah. I slaps just... you, cracks your neck, <laughs> gives you some time yes. and all. Makes you get an Invisalign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to yeah. spread your jaw. There you yeah. Go. I, yes. Well, that I is fascinating. It, yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> I. I was also admiring uh, the guy that was doing the sweet talking. When I came in, you yeah. guys were talking about the guy doing the sex talking from the oh, car. Oh, yeah, the uncle. Did you realize that he is wearing a Dave and Buster's jacket? No, I did not. <laughs> I See, love that's why we Dave bring comedians Buster's. in here. They always pay attention to details. <laughs> Glad to make some money He's right quick. A, a hoodie mm, that right. says Dave and Buster yeah. at the orange love logo, it. which oh, I know. Shit. I'm a Dave and Buster's I ain't fan. I now. Mm -hmm. Got my eyes on that chocolate drop right there. Mm -hmm. Boom. There it is. Yes, sir. But I know one thing. I know them things right there on the top of your chest that melt my mouth and not my hand. I know that. God, oh, that ain't motherfucking. You're right. Dave and Buster's. He's a big ticket Dave winner. Dave and Buster's, yeah. <laughs> well, this is where you meet women. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's definitely where the children go. I mean, I it is know. where I went on my first date, so I'm not like knocking Was it. Was really? Yeah, it's where we went on our first, first date? date. Yes. Yeah. How old were you? <laughs> I, this was what seven years ago, so I was thirty-eight. Yeah. <laughs> I used oh, to live your next first one. date. I thought With you Chris. met. Oh, oh I'm no, sorry. No, no, I thought no. you met your first date ever. No, no, no. I, I like, wish Dave and Buster's a, had been around yeah, when I was a teenager. That's a oh, great. Yeah. Did you ever no. have a, a cool summer where you blossomed or changed or gained a bunch of weight? <laughs> oh, I mean, I feel like every summer. <laughs> no, I mean, I gained a bunch of weight in college, like my freshman year. That like was your normal. Awkward time. Yeah, but then at the time I was working. Then the next summer, I was uh, in a different show at Six Flags, uh, <laughs> where I was inside a costume, and we were sweating in the heat of the summer, so I got back. Oh, what nice. Was, what yes. was the costume? I, was, I started out in Taz. Uh, <laughs> we were in a band called What's Up Rock, and I was the drummer. Wow. Uh, Taz, who had to so you were drum always a performer. and dance. <laughs> wow. I didn't yes. know this about you. I've known you for 20 yeah. years. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I, in high school, I auditioned to be a performer at Six Flags, which was, you know, very far away. It was kind of a, a big deal. And I, um, yeah. I, Is that a good gig? What are the perks? It was a great, it was the perfect gig for school because it paid salary. Mm. And during the school year, I worked on the weekends. But during the summer, when I was out of mm -hmm. school, we worked six days a week. Perfect. And also, doesn't it kind of feel kind of cool at that age to have a job there? I oh, mean, yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. everyone's trying to go to Six yeah. Flags. And so you like, could get people passes. They're like, I got you. I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember, so I started out in like the Bugs Bunny World Games because I, I, I was never a cheerleader in high school, but everybody thought, just assumed I was a cheerleader because I just have a very peppy personality. So I immediately get hired in this show, even though my art teacher at the time was like, don't audition. It's, they only take really good people. And I was like, oh, thank you. God. Now I only want to go there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like a thousand people auditioned and they picked 30. And so I was one of the ones. Wow. And I was like the host of this kids game show. Like, you don't want to eat Daffy. He's too tough. You know, just like that kind of <laughs> stuff. And then anyway, so then the second year they changed. We got bought by Warner Brothers. And so then they brought on, you know, all these different characters. And um, so we did a. I remember that. They kind of like. Performance show. But yeah. They changed. Yeah. They did a rebranding. Yeah. They did a rebranding when they got. They got bought by a different parks company. It, yeah. It was a whole thing. And like. But we were. We still were not very cool. Like the, the country singing show was the cool. That was a jam. That was like. Yeah. Oh, all the real stars are in this <laughs> show. You know. <laughs> and we're the ones in sweaty costumes with. Oh, with kids so that try to push you over. And I, I remember for a while I, I was Daffy and then I would really get back at kids wearing the Daffy head because you would just be like, you know, just <laughs> do a quick, you know, and then just smack them with your beak. Yeah. yeah. Or guys would just try to tackle you oh, and like the giant Taz thing. And, and the Taz head is out to here and then you have these like two foam things on your shoulder. Do they get thrown out for doing that? Like for trying to uh, tackle? Yeah, I mean, I think there's like we can report them, but like... What are yeah. we, you know, we're like yeah. 18 Kids. years old. We're like, I don't know. Yeah. It's an older person that yeah. did that. Can I say anything? <laughs> 
But I learned a lot because like that was like then I ended up transferring from UGA to Georgia State in Atlanta, and kind of everything changed from there. So I was better. just kind of. Yeah, I mean, for my personal career, it was better. I kind of wish I had had more of a college experience. Which is the like UGA, right? Like UGA that, yeah. is like, I never even got to go to a football game. Now, That's crazy. I go once a year because we're dominant. <laughs> but when I went to school, I went to school with Heinz Ward. So it was like, wow. we were not dominant back then. But you um, you guys really are dominant. Now. We're very dominant, yeah. yeah. And you know, for this is, a, a, you, I know you do not care, but. <sighs> Here's the gender so traitor for, part of Sarah. <laughs> so, comes out. Every Since time. 2009, my voicemail said, you've reached Sarah Tiana and Matthew Stafford. Please leave a message. Oh, my God. Since 2009, when he got... So Matthew Stafford was the quarterback at my old college, UGA. Yeah, like, who's that? He gets drafted into the NFL to play for the Lions, so I changed my voicemail to say that. And that was a way for me to weed out the week, right? That yeah. was a way for me <laughs> to say, if a guy calls me and he doesn't know who Matthew Stafford is, oh. we have nothing to talk about. Sure. Right? And so that's him right yeah. there. And then he comes to LA and now he plays for the Rams. Oh, right. Yep. Okay. And so, but then this the last two years, we've had a, 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 we've won the national championship in college football and we've had a quarterback named Stetson Bennett, right? Uh, they call him the mailman because he can deliver, right? Hopefully he can deliver on Sundays in the NFL. I don't know. But anyway, he gets drafted and I, well, he, I changed my voicemail to say Stetson Bennett instead of Matthew Stafford. And then he gets drafted and he's playing on the same team as Matthew Stafford. Wow. He's his backup. That's what wild. are the chances? That's awesome. You manifested this in <laughs> some way. Have you met and them? I live in LA. Have you met them? I've met Matthew one time. I was like way too nervous to talk to him. Oh, you I were? Was, I, yeah. Because I mean, you guys got to do the, you got to do the recording together where you're like, hey, it's Sarah. And he's like, and Matthew Stafford. <laughs> and we, you know, you got to do that know, together. Yeah. And then I'll, and then I'll have his wife, Kelly, be like, and it's okay. You know, <laughs> <laughs> say that in the background. <laughs> Yes, I know that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, but that's a great idea. If you're listening to this, what's his name again? Matthew, <laughs> Matthew Stafford. Stafford. Yeah, yes. and Stetson Bennett. Hit us up. Yes, Stetson. or Stetson Bennett. Yeah. Or yeah. Stetson Bennett. Our yeah. two favorite players. <laughs> what position <laughs> yes. do they play? Um, soft ends. <laughs> soft ends. That's right. God, Christina. You're I was. Like, hey, um, hi. How how are you? What's your name? What's your pronoun? What's your pronoun? What's your pronouns today? Mine. Yeah. Uh, let's pee him today. Oh, what are you? Oh, I, uh, I'm a Charlotte. Oh, a Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> I once had a, <laughs> I once had a trans person ask me how I identified and I froze and I just said, I think I'm a Charlotte. <laughs> uh, like we all want to be Samantha, but I'm Charlotte. And, uh, <laughs> I know that. They weren't talking about that now, but I did not know. They asked this was you how before you the awakening. This was before the awakenings. Like yeah. I was, I, I didn't. I had a lot of questions. I was asking yeah. them a lot of questions, and then they asked me a question, and I froze. You're like a Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. What did they I, say? They just laughed. Oh. You know, because yeah. I really couldn't. I was trying to go through all of them, and then for some reason, I think I had already had Sex in the City on the brain. It doesn't. It's. It doesn't matter. You are but, a Charlotte, though. I see that. I'm definitely out of those. Ladies, what do you think you are? I'm the Charlotte. I mean, <laughs> what's the whore's name? <laughs> oh, that's Samantha. Samantha. She's saying everyone wants to be oh. Samantha. By the way, is going to make a cameo appearance in yes. the upcoming one. I'm very excited. Are you? Maybe somebody will make. Um, oh, they made up. I thought that was like the that. whole thing, right? No, the, no, she did it from far away. I think she. She, oh. she didn't she, interact with any of them. <laughs> they hate her, and she hates them, right? I guess she hates. Isn't that the story? That. I know she hates them. I don't know if they hate her. But uh, she hates. She hates them. Hates. Yes. And hates. What, Listen, not everyone can be a mannequin. I mean, she's been famous for a long time. <laughs> she has. What? Uh -huh. What? Call, do you know the story? She hates. Mm -mm. Yeah, she hates Sarah Jessica Parker specifically. Yes. I think she just thinks Sarah Jessica is a mean lady. That's the word on the street. They just didn't get along during filming. She thinks she's rude. Um, yeah. And then like Sarah commented on when Kim Cattrall's brother died. Sarah Jessica Parker commented on. Her social media and was like, I'm so sorry for your loss. And she was like, don't comment and act like you're a human being on my <laughs> social media. So it's very, you know. Wow. Bad blood. Wow. Yeah. But that's cool. You know, we'll see. Yeah. Bobby Lee's probably in. I think Bobby Lee is in this. Yeah, so Bob, that should be great. Yeah, we can get some stories from Bobby. Juice. He gave me a really good one that I can't tell. So. I know. Yeah. He's is he really in it? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh. He's been on the show. So oh, I'm assuming oh. if they're doing another. Yeah. He, he came back for the next season. I have not watched. Boy, they really ruined this fucking show though, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. They really made it a bummer. 
Hopefully, oh, and then Che, oh, that, oh, God. Well, let's see. Maybe they can rescue it. <laughs> so, so ridiculous. She doesn't know what type of human being she's standing next to. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what's happening. Who is that? That's fucking che Diaz. absolute child. This oh, man child. Oh, oh Bobby. Yeah. Bobby. Yeah, oh. of course. <laughs> I thought you were meant the Che, who is Diaz. No. She's no. Really oh, okay. Bobby? Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, Bobby's so ridiculous. <laughs> so ridiculous. So ridiculous. <laughs> you know, when I first, I, I thanked Bobby on my first album because when I first started stand up, he would take me, he remembered me from Mad TV because I had done one episode oh of God. Mad TV. And he was so nice to me at Mad TV and then remembered me when he saw me and not even be in a creepy creeper way. I mean, at least I don't think so. And he would like make, he would, whenever he went to a room, he would make them put me up too. Oh, that's And so he cool. got me so much stage time when I was... He's a sweetheart like he's that. He's a very, very yeah. good guy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. He's a sweet guy. Mad very TV. sweet guy. He's very yeah. deeply, well, deeply disturbed, but yes. very sweet guy. <laughs> very sweet. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's very... Very, very I know. Like, I, t- I feel like I text him at least once a week just to say, I hope you know that people love you and I do too. Like, I'm just oh. very... I'm always very worried about him. Yeah. yeah. He is... Um, <laughs> the word... The R word. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> do you have a whole thing that you can control oh. drops yeah, yeah, yeah. so funny Why Spade you... used to do that all the time and he but he didn't know what any of them were so oh, he would always touch a button and it yeah. would you would never know what yeah. it was gonna <laughs> yes yeah bobby this is a whole page of bobby drops right here <laughs> no it's not fully retarded yeah oh, okay yeah, yeah. so that's just yeah. yep yeah. okay <laughs> <laughs> uh how about this fully oh. when i say i'm built different oh. i'm being literal Alright. Oh god. Oh god. Right, you can't do that. No. Nobody's supposed to. You can't Whoa. do that either. Yeah. I don't want it. I don't want <laughs> it. It's just a little hole right there. <laughs> I can't. Whoa. Yeah, pretty simple stuff. Babe, I think I, this is terrible. Uh, <laughs> like I, I, I And interestingly <laughs> enough, because I can I'm not watching either. No. Don't worry. Sticking his tongue I'm put through my tongue his up nose. there and get all around through in his there. Nose? Uh as a byproduct. Mm-hmm. Whoa. My tongue has just gotten really long. Did you see it that? Has a lot of it's a muscle, though, there. right? Your tongue's a muscle, so, right? Yeah, That's but I mean... Cool. That's very long. Uh, as a byproduct. Mm. Bro. You don't, You wouldn't let that guy eat your box? Buddy! <laughs> he starts at one, and he, he goes all around. I'm fucking throw He doesn't up, just dude. go right for the all crit. Right! I wouldn't let him touch my Amazon box when it came to the mail. Is that what you call your asshole? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, was, it's very hard to open. <laughs> was Rex was Rex right about that? Never touch the butthole. Yeah, you, I yeah. don't like my no. no, no. I don't, yeah, you have I'm to ask a, specific no. permission. Unless there's an invitation. There has to be yeah, an invitation. A like a, real a written invitation, like a <laughs> card, real asshole. or an evite. Does an evite work? <laughs> you are invited to touch my asshole Can this I Saturday. I do invited. like this guy's tongue. I do admire it. But then, does he have to give me the whole presentation when we meet? So you do like the tongue? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, do I have to sit through the whole freak show? Mm-hmm. Hey, here's what I can do. Like, I don't want to know all that. Yeah, you just want to see that the tongue is crazy. Yeah, just like show me I, your crazy tongue. If I could just take that tongue and put it on your face and oh. the, in your body, and then that would be great. So you would let him eat it. Yeah, but I don't you want just, the whole presentation. <laughs> Yeah, you're really playing games today. Sorry, I mean, I'm, I'm not being clear. I'm just all over the map. Yeah, so yeah. the tongue is alluring. Yes. Okay. I'm a huge fan. No, I, mean, I like it. Don't look at me. Look at him. I don't <laughs> want the whole thing where he shows me how it goes through his nose and stuff. Oh, I, you, just, you just go, just be there just, with the tongue. That's right. Yeah. I just like that. Though, for some reason, the the soundtrack to The Greatest Showman is going on in my head right now. <laughs> like, just sideshow. <laughs> So here's the thing. If he didn't do the weird thing, you'd let him take it for a yes. spin. All right. Yes. God. He's attractive otherwise. He's cute. I like how you ask her the same yeah, question like, five times because well, you because want her to finally I, go like, please, yeah. Let, yeah, well, set it up, Tom. We, back went, for we it. went from I'm horrified to he's attractive otherwise. <laughs> because I'm separating. I didn't see the end result. This is good. The end is fine. I like that. Do okay. you think he could have... Could you pay for his dental work for Christmas? Aww. He's missing several teeth. But does that happen with a cleft palate? You miss so. teeth Maybe. too? I don't, I don't know. know. I never thought I so. Know. I don't know. I didn't think it was. I'm no expert at this. I don't know. Yeah, unless you're a hockey player, I feel like you should. Have teeth. Yeah. Can yeah. you play the next one? Thanks. <laughs> Can we done? Is there more? Oh. 
My girlfriend getting her face tatted. Tatted. That's my not, face. My oh, oh, my face. face. Oh, on snap. On her neck, yeah. bro. Oof, like on the windpipe, too. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, uh-uh. Girlfriend, not wife. Yeah. Girlfriend. Girlfriend is right. Yeah. Wow. That is intense. Why did you pick that picture, too? Like, why that photo? Seemed like that. a better... Like there's better Dude. photos somewhere? And that's what... Is that what he did for her? Um, Bro, stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> that... That doesn't, doesn't look so, look so great. Kind of looks like that guy's tongue. Oh God, that doesn't even look like that guy. Oh, uh, that's so bad. And that's, her face right now is that realization. Like, there's a mirror in front of her, and she's like, uh, uh right? Doesn't she look like and she has what braces, am I looking at? Tom. I know it's your type, dude. She's like, well, look what you did. You put this bitch ass in the dive on my neck. That's right. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> that's a <laughs> oh, shit. That's, that's terrible, bro. Yeah. I don't. Oh, man. Do you have tattoos? I have one bad tramp stamp. Oh, right. Tramp from stamp. The 90s. Yeah. But I, that is dude, like. Look at that. Straight. Yo, you got to go to a portrait specialist. You can't just yeah, go. Yeah, you can't to like, just go to the guy that you went to that, that gave you. Well, and first of your all, anklet. Yeah. this is not a good <laughs> portrait of a person. His eyes are closed in the picture. <laughs> yeah. So you don't so, want to. And then the guy tattooed them open. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So and in different places, they're yeah. not even symmetrical. One's half closed, one's wide open. Oof. Yeah. So in the tattoo artist's defense, I mean, the photo itself wasn't that great. Yeah. To work from. It looks like <laughs> her little brother drew something, and then they were like, "Yeah, it, you know, did he pass? Let me let me tat it on you." Like it looks God like. God damn! But the stencil didn't look that bad. Like, can you back no. it up to where the stencil was put on there? Because I feel no. like the outline. Is that what he did for her? He put her name over his eyebrow and then oh, no. she did this for him? Like, uh, I guess maybe, yeah. I don't know. No, it doesn't look like as bad not there. That. Also, bad. the eyes are open there. Fuck, dude. Yeah, this is really bad. This is bad. It's really bad. <laughs> she should have just. <laughs> you know what we should do at your mom's house? We, get, we made a call for the worst tramp stamps. Should people send in the worst portraits they have they look the least like the person they're supposed to i think that's really funny send in your it's awfulest like that, portraits remember when that lady retouched that jesus painting remember <laughs> do you oh, guys yeah. know what i'm talking yes, about yes i know exactly like what you're talking about famous painting and she was like i'll just help yeah and then it was <laughs> and it like looks yeah 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 <laughs> Have you? We we played that on the that? show. Yes. Oh my yeah. God! The it is Jeep, so... like the oh the my God. oh like the really bad uh, like fi- touch the, up. She fixed the touch it. up of a Jesus painting gone wrong. Or yeah, or it was yeah. like one of his apostles or something. But oh <laughs> yeah. God, it was really. You don't have to, just Google it. Yeah, it's very. Oh boy. But I. <laughs> Do you have any tattoos, Tom? No. Yeah. No. No. Are you gonna get one now? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> yeah. I found Whoa. It. I know you did. I'm very impressed. Dude, she fucked that up. So like it, it looks like those one dimensional or whatever, like yeah. early medieval Look paintings where people are like, nah. Look, at Look at that. Look at what it was. Where it wasn't where she was like, I'll fix it and what it became. Yeah. Oh. Just a little bit more. And you I know think what? she was really old. <laughs> yes. I think it was an old mm-hmm. lady too. Yes. They didn't check her credentials or anything. Like <laughs> I don't think they she they she just did it on her own. Was just like you know what this is just getting a little. Yeah. Oh I better just God. do a little here and then you then you go oh that doesn't look as good you know what I'll try to add more here and then you just start yeah. overdoing it. Sure. And then someone's like you know this was fourteen million dollars right? And she's just like um. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's been a few of these that have happened over the years. Uh-huh. By the way, this is a good palate cleanser. You you will like this one. Okay, okay. all right. This I'm is no a guy who's or... no no no. This guy is a he's a ride operator. Okay, and he has a camera like a fixed you know GoPro uh-huh. camera, and right before he he starts the ride, he always is like, oh, this isn't set up right. So he surprises people. <laughs> it's very what a fun. Dick. Hold on, ladies. There's a knot in the chain. Let me fix it. <laughs> <laughs> he does that. Oh, my dummy. 
I'm oh. so dumb, I forgot to put the shoulder straps on. Hold on. I used to do this all the time. That is hilarious. I did that. Mm-hmm. Your shoulder straps, they're right behind you. You gotta pull them on down. Oh. Oh. Hold on, guys. It's showing empty. I think I know what's wrong. Oh, it ain't got no gosh. gas in it. Hold on. Oh, no, dude! <laughs> That's fucking evil, dude. I would do That's this 24-7. Yes, yeah, so one week at Six Flags during spring break, we our shows were dark, so they said if y'all want to make any extra money, you can come and work other parts of the park. So me and my friend Lucas, who played Sylvester in the show, <laughs> very flamboyant gay guy, we were like, we'll go ride. You know, we were like not checking height. We're not checking anything. We're jumping <laughs> over the tracks. We're like riding the ride before it even is open. And they then they come and they give us all the rules. And we had already done all oh, of the shit. rules. And it was so brutal. And, and people were so rude. And so at this, this ride was called the Cobra. And it would take off at 90 miles an hour and go through a loop and then come back. Or the Viper, something like that, and come right back. But it only had the um, the chin, the the pull the down. pull bar did not have seatbelts. So before it took off, I'd be like, "Don't forget to buckle your seatbelt." Uh, like, <laughs> <and they're> like, <laughs> this would be so fun to do. Yes, to be like, "Oh man, did, we didn't get." Oh, your shoulder straps, and they're like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> Dude. Hit the button. If someone did that to you. You oh, would be panic. Panic. Yeah. panic. You come back and you're like, thank God I'm alive. Oh, yeah. Wait, mm. how is it that, like, how do roller coasters get stuck in the middle of the loop? Like, how is that even in physics possible? Like, isn't the force of it just going to keep you? Like, yeah, people get stuck upside down and shit yeah, for hours. I, yeah, I, I don't know because I'm not a engineer, but I would assume that it has to do with either uh, the momentum and then the electricity on the ride, too. Yeah, but because they don't, not, it it's not just, just like a ball going through a loop, you yeah. know, because they're, they're locked right, in like, and, the, and they're, like, the tracks are actually turned on so they can malfunction and just stop at any point. Yeah, I think the reason they're metal, too, is like the conduction, right? With like the... Like it, it can know. stop. When I have no idea. I mean, you're... All right. Remember that one at uh, Knott's wow. Berry Farm? They had like the, the swing. It's a swings. It's basically the swings yeah. that go around in circles, yeah, yeah, but it yeah. would go. It, it was the highest one ever. And they constantly were getting stuck because the Santa Ana winds would blow oh. so hard. And then like, people, and they can't get up down. They would be. Some people were stuck up there for eight hours once. What? You know, like eight how hungry hours. you are. Get that Knott's Berry Farm yeah. swing stuck. <laughs> what? Something wrong with the thing of yes. a Let me check it out. Oh, I've never been. My grandmother had a. Um, when I first started at Six Flags, we had a. Sorry, was I supposed no, to? No, 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 no. Uh, the the new Batman had just come out, and um, and we had a Batman ride, and it was one of the first ones where your feet dangled. Yeah, I remember. And my that. grandmother so had a, a fake leg because she had diabetes, so they had to cut <laughs> off one of her legs. She was great after that, but like. Uh, but we would always try to get her to go on Batman with her leg dangling and see <laughs> how sturdy it was if it could stay. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> what is this here? Is this this it? is the swings ride at Knott's oh, Berry. Okay. That got yeah. Fuck this. Yeah, they Fuck get stuck this. all the way up top because of the winds would uh, like shut the ride uh -huh. down like the or yeah. it was also new and I think it was also ma malfunctioning. But... That would fuck with you for sure. Yeah, because <laughs> part of part of like. The thrill of this is you're like, this is very temporary. Yes. And you get to like crazy heights. You're like, oh, this is about to end. And then you're just For sitting so up there. For so long. Yeah, I, you're just, what would you pee? You have yeah. to pee, you have to shit. Well, you start pissing yes. off of the ride for sure, yeah. For sure. I'm just peeing my pants. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> so thirsty pants? and hungry. You like, so hot. But I think they gave them a free corn dog. Oh, that's after, cool. Which I think <laughs> is very like, cool. it really... Yeah, because <gasps> you see that ladder that like, there. How else do you get people down? Like, you can't just yeah get a crane. No, <laughs> sucks, dude. By the way, do you think this cat is racist? <laughs> okay, I'm in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's so crazy. If you did not say the word racist, I would not have put that word. Really. In. really? Well, really? Oh, I wish I could go back in time. But now. it's a black cat. But that's why it's okay. That's why it's okay. <laughs> that's why it's okay. Yeah, that's why it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a cat. It's a cat. That's a cat. It's a, it's okay. I I, I see that, but yeah. he didn't train it. <laughs> I think he may have. I think the cat. <laughs> I don't. 
I think I, the cat picked up on some stuff, you know? <laughs> it's hearing around the house. Yeah. Yeah, because... Jeez. <laughs> I, I prefer the one of the cat that says, Well, hi. Yeah, you know that I like one? that one. Well, well hi. Well, hi. Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. I like the one that goes, what? Look, I'm gay. Yeah. No, really? Yeah. Look, oh, I'm gay. Oh, that's cute. This is a cat, too. Suwu. Isn't that crazy? That's a cat. <laughs> Mm. Big words. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> do you want to uh, show uh, Tiana your your gift? Of course. Are you ready for my TikToks, dude? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, you, you have TikToks? About this? Oh, oh no, man. I have no idea. Oh, so, okay. I I'm well, sorry. you're in for a treat. Are you familiar with? Bitches was looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, she's long gone. But uh, are you on TikTok, the platform? I yes, great. I, I yes, people I do not dancing, yes. mm -hmm. being joyful. I, know what it is. I don't follow any of those folks. No. Who I like to curate are the weirdos, the mm -hmm. marginalized communities, the yes. outliers. The if fuzzy you drinks today. There Have you go. seen that? No fizzy drinks today. No. Oh, I'll show you that. One. Okay, well that one's. Yeah. That sounds pretty uh -huh. JV compared to the shit that I'm... Here's the thing. When Christina uh -huh. sends in her talks, it's always a ride. Sometimes you're <laughs> like, wow, this was like weirdly educational or this yeah. was kind of fun. And and then sometimes it's just real, real sad. Yeah. Okay. Good. Enjoy the ride. Okay. Enjoy the ride. I've lost my whole family and <laughs> it sucks. So a lot of times when people ask me if they should do porn, I tell them no. I tell them that it makes life really hard. It makes dating really hard. It makes your family <laughs> life really hard. Mm. It makes intimacy hard. What? If you're you know what else it makes hard? <laughs> 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 uh, she's a pro, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not talking about Riley. <laughs> and the world is now judging you. You have to be okay mm. with being shamed every day of your life. I don't even want to have Worth children it. because I do porn <laughs> because I'm worried of the way that people will treat my child. With me personally, yeah? my mm. mom was supportive in the beginning. She kind of just let me do whatever. That I think it was a good thing. I had a lot of freedom. As time progressed and I became successful, I started <sighs> to feel like my mom was using me so that she could live a more luxurious lifestyle. When I started to set like these boundaries, not giving her money or things I like that. I didn't know porn stars could talk this much. <laughs> that is a lot of words. Do you know, do you remember, do you remember Nick, do you remember Nick uh, Youssef? Of course. Okay, so Nick, I, one time he was dating uh, a very uh, famous yeah, porn star. Yeah, that's right. And I, they were coming to a concert with me as my guests. And so we show up. And at the time I was working at the Beverly Hills Hotel and I get there and she's just like, how's your day? And I was like, I'm just so tired because I had to work all day. She goes, "Ugh, me too. And I go, mm, not the same. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm like, I just don't, I don't really want to relate with our Ugh. jobs. And when I say I'm tired, yeah. it's because I've been, you know, running around a pool. You're tired. For a different yeah, totally different reason. reasons. Yeah. And both valid. Both yeah. valid. Both work. <laughs> both, both work. Yeah. 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 But yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, in case you were wondering if it is worth it to do pornography. It made our relationship a bit more difficult and almost toxic. Oh. And so mm, it sucks. Yeah. I don't have a mom anymore. I don't oh. talk to her. Kind of did it. I already. miss having a mom. I feel like you can't rewind and you can't. But she go does back. have a daddy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Would you like me to keep going? You want me to? <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty long. No, that's enough. We get the picture. Oh, I mean, it's your talk. You yeah, know? but you don't have to play them all. I mean, with her anymore. I don't ever think I will. But you guys are bummed mm -hmm. out by this. That this is me education. It makes me out. take her so much more seriously because of the sweatshirt she's wearing. <laughs> Has anybody seen my pants? <laughs> I know. I get very right? empathetic when I see somebody wearing a shirt right. like yeah. that. Clearly, just, she regrets her decision <laughs> with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but she made that your, choice. Right. Put on your Dave and Buster's jacket. It's, uh... Like a respectable TikToker, you <laughs> fuck. I know. I know. Like, she's learned nothing. Happening? The sweatshirt nothing. is nothing. Yeah. She yeah. may as well have her pussy on the thing. <laughs> yeah. Does, that still, does it still make you... Are you able to jerk off to her in VR porn? No. No. No, never. Never. No. She well, you don't like brunettes. I'm not attracted to this person at all. And even less so now can hearing about your fucking problems. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah. 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 
that's not sorry. Hot. Yeah. yeah. But this, nope. but that's um, the girl from Fifty Shades of Grey, right? Is that Dakota Johnson? I thought that she. I didn't know that she did go into it after no. that. It's not her. <laughs> Gosh, I really don't know a lot. Well, that's you a, it's a really good start, Christina. <laughs> you, you got it. Uh, Madolf is like, this is by far the saddest TikTok we've ever seen. I think it made me the saddest. Yeah. 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 You, this Knowing is her. Worse. Because everything else like grosses me out or I can't watch it. Like this one's like, uh <laughs> This is worse than like cave diving. We've been into that. Well, lately. that's anxiety. It's all different emotions. Like yeah. that's it. Like your TikToks just hit like <laughs> everything on yeah. the spectrum. It's true. It's true. <laughs> you don't want to hear your porn stars talk about their actual problems. You want I mean, I don't, them I, to it's not necessarily their even mouth the porn. to be full so you don't have to hear <laughs> no, them yes. say anything. Anyone Thank saying you, this stuff <laughs> it would it's be sad. sad. It, it is, doesn't it matter is. that she's a porn star. Yeah. Mm. But you guys we didn't know that doing porn was bad so now we she's also, letting you know yeah. don't do it it's bad <laughs> separate the art from the artist though yeah, yeah, yeah. teach a class <laughs> don't do it <laughs> oh there you go oh. this one's cool <laughs> Oof. hey is that the tattoo from that lady's neck <laughs> <laughs> that's what it Oh, oh my god, no. that's totally him! That's totally. Ah, totally looks like him! <laughs> it's like they'd be like, oh, I didn't know you started dating this guy. <laughs> you dating Jerry? <laughs> Jerry. Great <laughs> work. <laughs> Great name. Oh, but man. don't you mm. love his energy? I just, yeah. I yes. love him. Of course. Well, that's because ugly people have personalities, yes. you know? Yeah. And if yes. you're like really fucked up looking, you develop some shit. Yeah, like this. you develop a good you either, personality. You either shut down and live mm -hmm. inside, and they mm -hmm. have to oh cut God. the wall down to get you out of the house, mm -hmm. or you do some shit like this. And you're you like, fun. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm sexy. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck if you're oh, that it? in your arms. Yeah. I'm serious. I don't give a shit. We've had guys, their wife is giving birth. As God is my witness. He's a doctor, Dr. Joe. Dr. Push Joe. On you. Oh, yeah, Dan, I, 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 I got push, honey, push, push. I don't give a shit. Nobody, don't you understand? Nobody cares about all the trials and tribulations of your fucking weak, cut lives. Don't you understand that? What the fuck do I have to do here? You fucking morons. Is this from Succession? <laughs> This is a business coach. Isn't that amazing? No, it's People not. People are paying Dan, real Get money out. for this guy yeah. to talk to you mm, about he's been on the show. how to be a successful business person. Okay. Yeah. You well. fucking weak cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if your mother well. died in your arm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Look it's at really that lady cool. in the front. Look at yeah. her. Mm. Lady. She's like, hey, should right. I be writing this down? This is so good. I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> it's so good. Mm -hmm. I fucking love I'm it. very I motivated. Fuck your mother died in your arms, you cunt. I'm serious. I don't uh. give a shit. We've had guys, their wife is giving birth. As God is my witness, he's a doctor, Dr. Joe. Push, honey. Oh, yeah, Dan. I, I, I got push, honey. Push, push. I don't give a shit. Nobody, don't you understand? Nobody cares about all the trials and tribulations of your fucking weak, cut lives. <laughs> don't you understand that? What the fuck do I have to do here? You fucking morons. <laughs> Here's the thing about Listen. Dan Pena, though. He says this shit, and everyone's like, oh, my God. And then you, you break it down, and you're like, you know, he's, he's, he's actually, he's, he's right. right. No, he's no, absolutely yeah, right. Nobody yeah. gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Yeah. It's like, remember when you, I remember seeing a clip of you talking about whenever you post something good that happened to you, people go, must be nice. It's like, yeah, it is fucking nice, because yeah. I worked my ass off. <laughs> yeah. And maybe if you didn't have a loser mentality, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't. <laughs> Be yeah. woe and like, oh, woe is me. Yeah, Stay only, in your house and shut the fuck up. It's only losers put, that get, get upset about yeah, that. Yeah, losers. Yeah. Losers. It's true. Yeah. Get them, Sarah. Yeah, but that's what it is. No one knows because you're tough and you, resilient because well, you're a comic and that's what it you, takes. If you go into like the business, like anywhere, but let's say in business and you're like, you know, my uh, my dad died when I, they're like, <laughs> no I don't cares. give yeah. two shits. He's like, he's right. Like, mm -hmm. you, it doesn't matter what your story is. Are you going to fucking move forward and get something done or not? Right. Yeah. You and just he just says it up. with a bunch of colorful language. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in a pinstripe suit. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he's like... And his castle in Scotland. <laughs> so... <laughs> But I respond to this way more. And I feel like Nadav, you and I coming from immigrant backgrounds, like don't you respond to this kind of shit more than soft language? I mean, I did, yeah, if someone's like super nice to me, I don't trust them. It, it's like, especially if just a stranger right off. Like when I moved to Texas, it was a real culture shock. You're just like, wait, what? What are you talking about? You just yeah. want to know how my day is? What the, what the oh, fuck do you want from me? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I respond to this 
kind of cruelty. I like it. Yeah, it reminds me of like a football coach, you know, yeah. like coaches yeah. who are like, shut the fuck up. And, mm-hmm. and like, yeah. okay. Well, I guess yeah. you'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if like you, or like you can it. just sit there and cry, you weak uh, duck pussy. <laughs> You may not oh. want to be my toilet, but I bet you'd love to see what's in there after I've been in there. Oh. Especially at the moment, it'd be a nice, long, runny poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought we were about to see it. I was oh, like, yeah, oh, I thought man. Oh, sure. They don't let you show it on TikTok. I really? Oh, I love that, TikTok. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have teeth. Remember that cum face girl? Oh, yeah. yeah. They pulled her off. They don't they let you run. Yeah. Yeah, no. strike she was covered fans. in jizz. Uh, but she was like, have a great day. And she didn't say anything about it. And they still took it down her wow. post. Yeah. You can't even say the word sex on TikTok. They'll take you down. You can't say sex? No. You have to see, you have to use a different word, coded language. They pull down, they'll pull down everything. Yeah. Would you agree that there's nothing pants. like <laughs> yeah, a great, pants. like a man that really knows how to give a kiss, uh, you know? Yes. Gentlemen, the art of the kiss is being uh, lost in our modern oh God. time. <laughs> Sarah, look, you, need to you have understand to look. A woman is Watch. soft and gentle. And Watch. she wants to be loved. Uh, uh, Move in no, with a kiss. Is... Look, Sarah, no, you got to go. Sure you get one first kiss. And if you want to be invited to the second from Calhoun? one, you got to make this first one count. Mm. Mm-hmm. Easily nibble on her lip. And then once you move in, he's not doing any of that though. Back and forth as mm. if you're painting on canvas. <laughs> as if you're redoing fucking a Jesus photo. So sloppy. She's got a great kisser on her hands. I'm going to mm. fucking barf. He's got a skill I'd rather set watch puking. You gotta just like put it on the fizzy happy. drinks guy. No fizzy drinks today. Just More look up hat. that guy on Twitter so, or on ta- TikTok. You can use this. Use the hat to blind him some. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, no. This is self defense. These hat. Are, so these are white guys that do martial arts. <laughs> I love white guys who teach in martial arts. It's skip, 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 skip. Wearing a hat. So. I'm wearing a hat. You can use this. <laughs> Sure. To blind him some. <laughs> it's sweaty. Yucky. It's, ah! it's not even a big Depending hat. Depending on how you're wearing it, of course, if it's back, oh. you can just move it straight in. Throw it out. <laughs> Jack Reacher taught me that. And of course, it's important to keep your hat, so. Oh, yeah, don't lose your hat. Don't lose your hat. Hats don't are be. very valuable. Yeah. yeah. We, all, we all only have one. It's true. No one's got more than one but hat. <laughs> it wasn't the hat that twisted that guy's arm and pushed him on the ground. <laughs> The it's hat just helped. a distraction. The hat helped a lot. Did it. It's called an assist. The hat gave yeah, me an assist. It's a distraction. Exactly. <laughs> you got a distraction. I wish he was like, if you're wearing a watch, and he takes it off and he just throws the watch in the guy's face. <laughs> like, oh, I just wanted to see. <laughs> what time? Yeah, it is Hold time to second. kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> takes a minute to unloosen it up. There we go. Sarah. And Sarah. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> Now what? So easy. Now what are you gonna do? Now, mm-hmm. good luck. You're dead. You're in that dead. time, and the time, in the 13 seconds it took me to get my watch off, <laughs> mm-hmm. this guy is completely toast. You Sarah, had time to think about how I was gonna murder you. I have a question for you. Yes. Okay. The life partner, your life partner, your baby daddy. Mm-hmm. Like, let's say this is before you had kids. You're just dating, and he's an ideal man in every way. <laughs> is he's your dream partner? Yeah. But he loves nunchucks, <laughs> and. He once a he's really into nunchucks and he does the, the shit uh-huh. in her apartment mm-hmm. and he's always like once a day look at my routine mm-hmm. is that a deal breaker? <laughs> uh, wow, that, is that a deal breaker? Because it it's be, not like he's a Jesus think, freak. No, it's I don't not, think yeah. it is because it would give me so much material. Yeah, like the way that going to his rec league basketball game games has got, given me hours of material uh-huh. into the like now i have to stop going because they go we always know you're here because we can hear you laughing <laughs> and i go oh whoops uh but i feel like i would stay with him for the bit just so i could talk about it on the stage so for me yeah. personally it is not a deal breaker yeah. there are so many other things yeah. i should have left him for sure. <laughs> non-checks would be the last yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. wait what Fair about enough. you if Tom was like, I'm getting into nunchucks. I mean, I feel like the cold plunge is his nunchucks right now. <laughs> and the VR goggles are a real pussy sure. dryer. So, <laughs> no, I like n- nunchucks are masculine. Yeah. I think dolls would be a deal breaker. Oh. Or figurines. If he were to collect sure. like Star oh, yeah. Wars figurines and, yeah. and that Action kind figures. of collecting. Yeah, I know some guys like that. I don't like that. They're, yeah. Uh, 
They're not really men, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> what about Legos? Oh, That's gay as fuck. Dude, no. when I got off the plane in Austin yesterday, I'm going through the airport, there's a Lego... Store? No, machine, like a, 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 a vending machine that sells Lego things to put together. I'm like, on a plane? <laughs> that seems like the That's very the last worst thing for a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, think it'll be a dropped. deal breaker for me, a Disney adult. Oh, Disney adults are I'd be like, a no, lot. bro. Yeah, they're a lot. Yeah, where you go? I don't like that. Oh, when I got a wrap. You got a wrap. I got a wrap. Oh, Um, don't forget to check out the special forty-four on YouTube. It is always a joy. So good to see you, Sarah T. I love you. Next time it'll be in Chicago at our new location (laughs) um, in the Sears Tower, newer studio. Uh, But thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Always great to see you. Always nice. Bye bye. See you guys next time. Bye, mommy. This is Captain Marcel. 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 My sister went down. Down to the mountain. You might be a TikTok. 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 I gotta save my sister. The body. The body. The body. Tell everybody I'll be back. I need a backup. I'll see you later, bye. I'll see you later, bye. Bye. Just waiting for my lunch. Just waiting for my lunch. Just waiting for my lunch. I ordered a buffalo burger. My dinner, my dinner, my dinner. I ordered a buffalo burger. Because I got the movies, 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 movies. Okay, guys, we're going to do a guy acting like a cow. Hey, you just watched a full episode of your mom's house. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, watch another one. Maybe you'll like that one. They're everywhere. Look, I don't know. They place them in like cubes, squares, whatever it is. Just click another one. Maybe you'll find someone you like or someone will get hurt. <laughs>